Hello everybody, uh, this is the last video of uh, this playlist. So basically this is question number 5 of October, November 2023, paper 2, variant 2. And this is based on ratio analysis and this is for the first time that I'm posting something from ratio analysis. So we'll just move on to the question. The question says here, Nala is a retailer who sells toys and games. All sales are on a cash basis and all purchases are on credit. She has provided the following information. So they've given you closing values, that is closing inventory. They've given you a closing bank balance. They've given you trade payables at end. They've given you capital at end. And then they have, they're giving, give, giving you to the year. So for the year ended values, like uh, revenue, purchases and expenses, these are income statement values. Then they have given you inventory at 1st September 2022 was valued at 66175. So this is my opening inventory. They're asking you to actually calculate all these ratios that are given in, these, uh, in, in this table. You start with gross margin. So gross margin, the formula for gross, gross margin or gross profit margin is basically gross profit divided by revenue multiplied by 100. So you don't know the gross profit here because this information is not giving you the gross profit directly, but they've, give, they've given you enough information that you can find out gross profit. So to find out gross profit, you know, you know the income statement format. So you just start with revenue. Revenue, you write here, revenue here is 98,420. Then I write here less cost of sales. So less cost of sales. Then you write opening inventory. Opening inventory here is 6175. Then you add purchases. Purchases here is 78130. It's from here. And then you add both of these. So you get 84305. And from this, you subtract closing inventory. So less closing inventory. And closing inventory here is this one, 6265. Notice here that some students make this mistake. They uh, basically swap both of these because the opening inventory they've written after the information they've given for the year ended. So basically this is my opening inventory and this is my closing inventory. I should look at the dates uh, very carefully because sometimes you know students um, take the opening as closing and closing as opening. Some students in this kind of a question. So you need to look at the dates very carefully. So when you subtract closing inventory, you get a cost of sales year of 78040. And when you subtract 78040 from 98420, you get 20380. This is my gross profit. So now I can apply the formula gross profit. So gross profit here is 20380 divided by revenue here is 98,420 and you multiply this by 100 so you get a value of uh, you need to basically round this off to two decimal places so what you'll get here is 20.7071 but you try round it off to 20.71 that is my 20.71 percent is my cross profit margin here then they are saying profit margin so profit margin is basically profit for the year divided by uh, revenue multiplied by 100 so profit for the year divided by revenue multiplied by 100 so profit for the year i need to find out again so i have gross profit here i need to subtract uh, expenses from this so less expenses and expenses here are 11 325 so when i subtract 11,325 from 20,380, I'll get a profit for the year of, um, profit for the year will be 9,055. So I'll take 9,055, 9,055 divided by revenue 98,420 multiplied by 100 should give me a value of 9.20%. This is my profit margin when I round it off to two decimal places. Then they are saying return on capital employed. So you should know the formula for of return on capital employed. Return on capital employed is basically uh, profit before interest, but there is no bank loan over here and there is no interest expense here. So you need to take profit as it is, what, whatever profit for the year is, you take that as a numerator here. Uh, because there is no distinction of profit uh, before interest and profit for the year in this case because there is no interest expense. If there was an interest expense, you would take profit before interest in the numerator. But here you'll take profit for the year and you divide, it, divide this by capital employed. So capital employed actually 
is a combination of two things it's capital that is invested by the owner plus it's non-current liabilities uh, but in this case you don't have non-current liabilities you just have capital that is invested by the owner 125,000 so you don't need to worry about non-current liabilities so here I take 9055 9, 5 in the numerator in the denominator I take 125000 and I multiply this by 100 so I get a value of so I get a value of 7.24% this is my return on capital employed then they are saying rate of inventory turnover and this is in time so you should know the formula here again see you guys should know that all of this should be in your memory i mean you should know the formulas really well to apply those so when uh, you are calculating rate of inventory turnover you need to uh, put in the numerator you put cost of sales which i have taken out uh, while i was taking out gross profit and you divide it by divide this by average inventory so average inventory is uh, basically opening inventory plus closing inventory divided by two uh, cost of sales in this case is this 78040 so i write here 78040 in the numerator in the denominator i write average inventory so 6265 6265 plus 6175 divided by 2 for which I get 6220. So 6265 plus 6175 divided by 2 gives me 6220. Basically when I divide 78040 by 6220 I get a value in times that is 12.55 times. This is my rate of inventory turnover. In the next bit they are asking you to calculate liquid asset test ratio. The formula for that is current assets minus inventory divided by current liabilities so current assets in this case is uh, we have two current assets here 6265 that is uh, inventory plus cash at bank is 992 so um, 6265 plus 992 and now i need to subtract 6265 so i am in a way left with only 992 in the numerator that is cash at bank and i divide this by total current liabilities here so total current liabilities here are we just have trade payables that is 4880 uh, we don't have any other current liability here so i divide this by 4880 so this is like i am doing 992 divided by 4880 which comes out to be uh, 0.2 is to 1 that's it for my uh, ratio calculations but if you know the formulas really well uh, this is uh, this is very very scoring very very scoring part of the paper in the next part they are saying nala increased her advertising expense over the year to 31st august 2023 and sells at a lower price than her nearest competitor uh, this has resulted in Nala selling her inventory faster than her nearest competitor. Nala and her nearest competitor buy inventory at the same prices. Nala is with Nala is pleased with her results. Explain why Nala should not entirely be pleased with her results. So what Nala is doing here that Nala and her competitor are getting the price, um, getting the inventory at the same price. So that means cost of her inventory and cost of her competitor's inventory is exactly the same. But what Nala is doing is that she is selling the inventory at a lower price than her competitor. So uh, in that case, her profit is reduced. So gross profit is reduced because of selling inventory at a lower price. So I'll write here gross profit is reduced okay so if she uh, is selling her inventory at a lower price and she's not selling to many many consumers then she'll basically have to cut down on, on her profitability that is why gross profit is reduced or you can say gross profit margin is reduced so gross profit uh, margin also you can say gross profit margin is reduced okay and one more thing she is mentioning that she has increased her advertising expenses which means that Advertising expenses will be subtracted after gross profit. So when she's calculated gross profit after that, she'll actually subtract all the other expenses in which she'll also subtract advertising expenses. If she does not capture a greater number of consumers, then that means her profit margin will also be reduced because once she's selling the inventory at a lower price than her competitor, also she's spending more on advertising. So if, she, if she's not able to capture a greater number of consumers, her profitability, her profit margin is also lower 
because she is spending a lot on advertising so increase in her advertising expenses will also reduce her profitability that is profit for the year will be reduced and because she's selling uh, in the selling the inventory at a lower price that is also leading to a poor gross profit margin uh, okay in the next part they are saying nala is planning to expand her business and to take out a bank loan to finance the expansion the loan would be repayable after five years they are saying advise nala whether she should obtain a bank loan to expand the business justify uh, your answer by providing two points for and two points against obtaining the bank loan to expand the business so what are the advantages of taking a bank loan number one is i'll just write these in points so advantages is that number one would be that she she will not have to risk her personal funds she will not have to risk her personal funds so like when we are taking a bank loan the other option would be that we uh, invest our savings to finance the expansion nala is not investing the savings to finance the expansion she's uh, not using her personal savings but she's using a bank loan so that's that's the bank's money so she does not have to risk her personal funds to actually finance the expansion also one more thing she can use her personal funds for her personal expenditures now because she's uh, not using them to finance the expansion uh, so a uh, number two could be that um, expansion will increase profitability expansion will increase profitability also it will uh, you will not have to wait till that time that you save up that money that you expand the business you can just take a loan and expand the business you can go for an expansion earlier so uh, expand basically loan gives you that taking a loan gives nala that um, that cash flow improved cash flow on an immediate basis so she gets the money on an immediate basis and can expand immediately uh, on the other side the disadvantages would be that she will have to repay this bank loan so uh, bank loans always need to be repaid so i write here disadvantages bank loans always need to be repaid also this bank loan is not something that you're not paying an in, uh, paying an interest expense for so you need to pay interest every year so nala has to pay interest every year on her bank loan so that's an additional expense and interest will basically reduce profitability because interest is an expense and it goes in the income statement and it is subtracted from the profit so this will reduce profits okay so if you guys also one more thing that uh, banks ask for security or a collateral when they they are giving a loan so uh, in that case nala will have to uh, give her uh, give something for security also one more thing my suggestion here would be that she should take a bank loan and you know expand her business because that gives her uh, more like once you're once you have expanded that uh, increases the chances of making more profits so expansion is always good if you can manage it expansion is good if it leads to more profits so uh, nala should uh, go for a bank loan so that's my opinion nala should go for a bank loan so that's uh, that's part c of this question in the next part they are saying state nala's bank manager would be interested in her financial statement if she uh, financial statements if she requests the loan so nala's bank manager would be interested in her financial statements so that they can uh, they can find out if nala is able to repay the loan so if she'll be able to repay the loan to find out if she'll be able to repay the loan so i write here to find out also the bank would want to know that if she'll be able to give uh, the interest timely so pay the interest timely for the loan that she has taken so um, that could be a point as well so thank you so much for watching